um, got more terrain elements in and more general um, kind of town that's basically been built now. Uh, in terms of the actual, um, so let me just explain some of my thought processes of this. Uh, obviously, we've got a central area, so we're trying to talk about some of the aesthetics of level design and how to do it. Um, so we've got <coughs> this main tower area here, which is a well, just like a communal space. There'll be we've got a few characters in there now. Um, at the time being, and we haven't got these. Some of these characters we'll probably use as um, kind of NPCs, and we'll develop some more of our own as assets later on. Um, we've got some nice cyberpunk kind of aesthetics in because we're trying to mix um, me and Harvey are mixing the, the aesthetic design and mixing <coughs> the old and the new um, so I've put in this which is an asset pack I've downloaded from the asset store I will link below to who uh, made this because it's a very good asset pack uh, cyberpunk asset pack is only about $20 I think and I've got tons of elements in there, so that's actually helped me define some more industrial kind of um, elements in the game. We've got, we've still got these like. Uh, so basically, if I, if I had to sum up what the aesthetic style of the game is, it's futurist, futurist, but also old at the same time. So it's a kind of desolate landscape of snow, but. It's also futuristic in the sense that there's industry too. So it's quite a strange mix, really. But that's where we're going with this. So and we've also got the religion too. So there's religious elements. So we've got church here at the minute. There will be more Arabic as well. So there will be. Um, it's going to have the world itself will have the religions of the world as it is, and then. Um, and then another one as well, I suppose. Like a, a few different like religious or mystic groups that you can interact with, I suppose. So, without further ado, I'm just going to show you a demo of the game in progress.